Welcome to Digital Communication Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain DPCM encoder, differential pulse code modulation encoder, and differential pulse code modulation decoder. So first, I'll explain DPCM encoder in which we will be generating DPCM signal by using DPCM encoder. And after that, I'll explain how to decode that DPCM signal by using DPCM decoder. So let us begin this session with DPCM encoder. Now see, this is the basic block diagram which is there with DPCM encoder. Now see, here we'll be having analog input and this input that first we will be giving it to sampler. So sampling operation that we do and that generates X of NTS signal. So that is sampled signal and as I have explained in last session in DPCM differential pulse code modulation we will be taking difference of two consecutive samples and that signal that we will be quantizing. So here this is what X of NTS that is sampling sampled output and here we use prediction filter we will be which will be generating predicted sample and difference in between that two that will be error signal E of NTS which will get quantized and of output of quantizer that will be EQ of NTS. So if you see the difference in between DPCM encoder and PCM encoder then you will be finding this extra block that we are adding which is prediction filter. So this is what prediction filter that we add in pulse code modulation which will be making this to differential pulse code modulated signal and once you have quantized error signal that we, we that we give it to encoder and once you give it to encoder which will be generating digital DPCM output. So here let us have quick functioning of this again analog signal that will be given to sampler and predicted filter prediction filter that will be generating X cap of NTS. So difference in between these two that will be generating error signal E of NTS and that error signal will get quantized over here and that will be resulting into EQ of NTS quantized error signal of that difference in between these two and which will be given to encoder that generates DPCM output. Here prediction filter that will be that will be utilized to generate predicted sample and difference in between that two will get quantized. So see this is what the basic case which we are dealing with to do. Now let us try to understand step by step how this complete encoder is functioning and that signal will be given to decoder to decode that original signal again. So here first thing is we generate error signal and that error signal is sampled signal and predicted signals difference. So if you see this error signal E of NTS, so that is difference in between sampled signal and predicted sample. So error signal E of NTS that is error signal that is E of NTS and that is a difference in between these two. One is sampled signal and one is predicted signal. So X of NTS minus X cap of NTS. So this is what error signal. Now here this quantizer that is generating quantized error output. So quantized error output quantized quantized error signal so that is having input which is E of NTS and some quantized error that will get added by this quantizer so E of NTS I am just writing it first and then I will explain so quantized error signal that will be having output that is EQ of NTS and that will be input signal plus quantized error 
so input signal that is e of nds and quantization error that is added over here so that is eqe of nds now here we will be generating input of this prediction filter that is eq of nds so that eq of nds that is what exactly output of this adder so input to this adder that is eq of nds and x cap of nds so addition of eq of nds and x cap of nds that is what xq of nds xq of nds that is what input to prediction filter so input to prediction filter input to prediction filter so that input to prediction filter that will be output of this adder and that is what addition of quantized output and sampled output of this prediction filter that is x cap of nds so input to prediction filter that is x q of nds and that is equals to e q of nds plus x cap of nds now see e q x cap of nds and eq eq of nds that is generating input to the prediction filter now what is eq of nds so that is what quantized error signal and that is what e of nds plus eq of nds so let us place that so eq of nds that is e of nds plus q error signal of quantizer that is qe of nds plus this that is what x cap of nds that is prediction filter output now see here if you observe this error signal e of nds so that is what addition of sample output and predicted output of this filter so e of nds that is x of nds minus x cap of nds so e of nds error signal that is x of nds sampled output and predicted output x cap of nds so just place that in this so e of nds that is x of nds minus x cap of nds so that is this and let us add this so qe of nds plus x cap of nds now see here one can observe this is getting cancelled here so you will be finding this input to prediction filter that will be x of nds and plus q error signal of quantizer so that is this so this will be input to prediction filter so ultimately see this is what input to prediction filter so at the end you will be generating quantized error signal that is this and this quantized error signal that we give it to encoder and that will be converted into digital data which will be differential pulse code modulated so here whatever error quantized signal will be there that is what we give it to encoder and that will be giving you digital data which will be differential pulse code modulated output now when you want to decode this when you want to decode this then you will be using this dpcm decoder block diagram that one can see here where input is DP, dpcm output so when you decode this you will be getting quantized error signal this will be complete reverse process as we have it over here so this is what dpcm output that is coming after encoding of 
quantized error signal so that is eq of nts so when you pass this dpcm signal through this decoder then you will be getting this signal eq of nts so here dpcm signal that we were given that we are giving it to decoder which is generating eq of nts now here we are using same prediction filter as we use it over here so prediction filter output is x cap of nts so same x cap of nts output that is getting generated by this prediction filter and here we are using adder so this output that is actually x q of nts which is addition of this two and that is what we have already derived x q of nts that is x of nts plus q e of nts so q x q of nts that is e q of nts plus x cap of nts that is this so again we are generating this over here at decoder side and this is what staircase output and this staircase output that we pass it through low pass filter and once you pass it through low pass filter you will be generating original signal so this is how we do encoding and decoding of differential pulse code modulation and complete working of that differential pulse code modulation that i have already explained in previous session one can see that previous session to understand why do we generate differential pulse code modulated output and here to generate that dif differential pulse code modulated output in pcm we just add one extra block that is prediction filter this prediction filter generates x cap of nts output first we take difference of this two samples which is error signal which will get quantized and why do we quantize this error signal that i have already explained in my previous session you just check it out once and once you have quantized output of that error input signal then you will be finding there will be quantized output which will be actually added with quantization error and this is what i have explained like see quantized output is error signal plus quantization error and that is what we encode over here and prediction filter is having input that is x q of nts that is what addition of output of prediction filter plus output of quantizer so that will be x q of nts is equals to e q of nts plus x cap of nts and that is what the case which we have done and that is resulting into this signal and in decoder we have input that is differential pulse code modulated signal again when you decode this digital data you will be finding this signal which is complete reverse of this and then you use that same prediction filter as you use it in case of encoder so output of prediction filter is x cap of nts addition of this two is x q of nts that is what we have already derived and when you pass this staircase output through low pass filter you will be finding original signal now see to understand this practically i'll be solving one example in next few sessions so you will be finding how to have encoding and decoding process and what will be quantization error so that i'll explain in example so you will find this thing is very interesting but for to understand differential pulse code modulation you will have to remember this basic formula of error signal quanta uh, predict input to prediction filter and output of quantizer so it will be easier to you to understand how to have dpcm output and to decode that we just need to have addition of decoder output and prediction output and once you add it you will be finding this and when you pass this through low pass filter you will be finding original signal so to explain those things i'll explain one two examples step by step so you will be finding how to have a solution of this thank you so much for watching this video you just place your queries in comments definitely i'll try to solve out your problems and in future i'll be placing many more videos regarding digital communication stay tuned with this channel thank you so much for watching this video